Uh, Democrats have no margin for error. A 50-50 Senate, they want to move fast. Democrats are looking to waste no time here, George. They have a razor thin majority in the Senate. They want to act fast. So here's the deal. Democrats will be able to confirm President Biden's Supreme Court nominee with 51 votes in the Senate. That threshold was actually lowered by Republicans back in 2017. This time around, it will give Democrats the upper hand. If they keep their party in line, Vice President Kamala Harris could cast a potential tie breaking vote. Now, sources tell us that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is looking to mirror the timeline for the confirmation process of Justice Amy Coney Barrett. You remember she was pushed, pushed through very quickly, just days before the November 2020 election. But a quick process means this messy political battle will likely be playing out before Justice Breyer even steps down from the bench. Democrats can begin the confirmation process as soon as President Biden announces his pick, George. It's at least possible, Rachel, that the nominee could get Republican votes. Definitely, and some Republicans already appear to be keeping an open mind, including Senator Susan Collins. Now, the top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee has already reached out to her. That is a sign that Democrats are looking to get bipartisan support on this, George. Okay, let me bring Terry back in. Terry, when the justice was